have you ever registered for a hackathon? Maybe you join the Discord channel and then you go through the website. Suddenly you freeze because you don't have any idea of what to build. No idea, no sense of direction. Maybe you even start a meeting with your team members and you guys are brainstorming. Or maybe we should build another marketplace. Maybe we should build a wallet. Maybe we should build... And then you're just hoping by divine inspiration that you guys are able to build something just before the deadline. I totally understand. And that is why in this video, I'm going to be sharing eight ways that you can come up with great hackathon project ideas that actually make sense that actually get your team noticed and of course that actually wins the hackathons <laughs> so if you're interested let's jump right into it you're watching one of my videos for the very first time then please i want to ask that before we go on to the video please subscribe 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 to this youtube channel of course i also have a weekly newsletter where i send out opportunities in tech and web3 you don't want to miss out on all of the beautiful and amazing opportunities that i send out so please do well to subscribe to that as well the link is in the description box below so now let's just get right back to the ideas Number one way to get beautiful hackathon project ideas is to actually solve a local problem. And interestingly, these local problems could actually be global problems. So let me explain. Start with your experiences. What are the pain points you face personally or maybe people around you face? It could be that maybe your school portal crashes every semester. It could be that, oh, you have issues receiving money as a freelancer. Or maybe it could be something as, oh, paying electricity bill is a struggle. Find something that is a problem and then try to solve it. Now, all of these things I mentioned may just seem like small issues, but the truth is that these kind of issues are actually global problems. You find them in different flavors in different parts of the country or maybe in different parts of the world. So look for those things that cause you pain, those things that cause you sleepless night, those things that make you angry, and then try to provide a solution for it. Now, a pro tip is that judges usually love ideas that are actually tied to maybe a personal experience or maybe something that it's actually like a pain point in your life because it makes that idea hit harder even if the tech is simple so please look out for local problems that you face around you it doesn't have to be your problem it could just be a problem that you notice that a lot of people around you are complaining about number two two way to get um great ideas project ideas that is is to look for what the ecosystem is actually lacking every ecosystem whether it is ethereum solana name it they all have a gap there is always a gap that is there so look around what is missing what is broken it could be maybe the DeFi tools in that ecosystem just assume that everybody is rich and wealthy everybody is an investor it could be that the wallet applications are very advanced people that are newbies or people with no crypto experience are unable to use it it could also be that maybe the developer tools suck you could actually fix those ecosystem issues that you have discovered and it's actually a very beautiful challenge interestingly you can build tools that you wish existed when you initially got into that ecosystem or maybe when you started building as a developer find those things and actually build them another idea when it comes to ecosystems is that sometimes for new ecosystems they may just have a lot of projects that are already existing in other ecosystems but then they don't have it you can actually build those same um those same exact um solutions but then don't just build copy and paste of course do well to like add other features add those things that you think that are missing in those projects and it will just be a fantastic addition that can become mainstream in those new ecosystems that you're building hackathon projects for number three is to follow the hackathon tracks most hackathons give you categories for example you can see a hackathon that have categories like DeFi, social gaming infra these are not boxes to limit you in any way in fact they are guides so for example 
in a hackathon that has a track for identity you could think about building something for the undocumented people for a hackathon that has like maybe a public goods track you could think about building something that will solve access to clean water or maybe provide stable education in rural areas let me give another example say there is a track in a hackathon that is titled DeFi. you could think of something that will just solve the common financial problems around you maybe in your locality or maybe globally so you can see that these tracks actually give you a sense of direction and help you focus within a particular topic so yeah please do well to look at the tracks available in that particular hackathon number four is to listen and don't just code ideas are everywhere if only you are listening you can actually look at twitter x now look at those rants on twitter and x find out the things that are frustrating people you can check reddit for requested features and on popular opinions you can also check discord and telegram groups to discover what people are actually complaining about or maybe what the developers are actually complaining about you can also check the news if you're trying to solve local problems then of course you can check like local news sources it can go as much as even checking an app like Facebook, what are people like your aunts talking about? What are those things that are frustrating them? All of those things are like literally pointers to things that you can actually build. Now, I know that for a particular hackathon that is going on now, you might not be able to start researching all around to get ideas. So a tip I'm going to give you is to have an idea bank. You can have like a notion page or maybe a document somewhere where every day you find um problems and then you document them as ideas now you're not just going to document for example there is no water for example and you write in your idea bank there's no water you could come up with a solution for that um, lack of water in that particular environment and then you put it in your bank so whenever you now need those ideas you have like a bank of ideas you can actually start with one idea a day and in seven days or in a week you already have like seven ideas i hope you found this useful number five is to actually remix what actually works now you don't actually have to build from scratch all the time you can take an existing tool or app and rework it so for example you probably have like a favorite DeFi app that you love and you use why not create a version of it that works offline or say rather than um, building another DAO why not build a DAO for maybe local farmers or something of that nature so sometimes innovation is not always new sometimes it is just improved look around you we have a lot of applications that are just duplicates of previously like existing applications but what makes their own different and even sometimes better is that they look for the loopholes in those existing applications they slap on new features they make it better optimize it make it more refreshing like more user friendly you know what add all of those things and then it becomes like people's favorites so you don't have to completely like try to like reinvent the wheel you can find an existing tool or maybe project or, or an existing idea and rework it add some creativity add something innovative to it that will make it stand out and you just have another idea number six way is to actually build for builders now this is actually like a very big deal because if you check for most hackathons a lot of participants do not prioritize developer tools they do not prioritize builder tools in fact that is why we now see some hackathons that are specifically just for developer tools and this is because there are a lot of things that you can do to make the lives of developers easier you can actually build maybe something that would auto deploy something maybe a tool that will scrap the web or something you could also build maybe a debugging tool anything that can actually make the developer's life easier it is actually very great so rather than focusing on just looking for ideas that will solve um, the problems of people around you you could just focus on ideas that will solve the problems that developers face and it will interest you to know that both the judges and the developers will love it even though it is not a flashy idea so this is actually something you should consider looking into especially if you are technical and you like to solve like 
problems. <laughs> the seventh way is to actually look at the hackathons team. Now, some hackathons are actually built around specific teams. It could be climate, maybe finance, it could be health, it could be education. Instead of guessing what to build, you can actually just lean into the team. Say, for instance, this particular hackathon you want to build for is a health related hackathon rather than just thinking random random stuff because you know the team of the hackathon you can now start thinking okay what if i build a tool that will provide um maybe therapy to patients that need them or maybe a mental health chatbot or maybe a tool that tracks postpartum recovery data you know something of that sort because you know the team you're able to like focus on that particular aspect and then you can now think around that idea the team actually gives you a playground so please do not ignore it pay attention to it and work with it finally for number eight let's say you have tried from number one to seven and it doesn't just work you don't have any idea coming into your mind you're just stuck this one should work you can actually just use an online idea generator yes there are actually a lot of them online that you could just use now some of them may not be web3 related but then of course you could pick those web2 ideas and then try to like add um, components of web3 into those projects sometimes the algorithm knows best so just follow the algorithm there are actually tons of online tools like ideagenerator.dev you can check it out there are so many of them I, I randomly just found it online and guess what the idea that you find might just be the seed for the next great thing so even though you don't use the ideas exactly the way you see them on those idea generators they might just be the seed that you just flesh it out you work on it refine it and before you know it, it is something very beautiful so do not just ignore these tools that are available you can also use ai ask for um give me like for example 10 ideas um, hackathon projects ideas in ai or maybe be more specific you know something like that and you, before you know it you have ideas that you can actually work with like i said this could just be seed that you would use to um blossom into something that is actually beautiful there you have it eight powerful ways to come up with hackathon project ideas that are actually real relatable and of course ready to win so whether you're just starting out you're looking for projects to build or maybe you're looking for ideas for the hackathon that is upcoming i really hope these methods of getting ideas are very helpful to you please let me know in the comments if you found any of these ideas helpful and of course if you have like other ways you get ideas please put them in the comments i'm sure that somebody would benefit from it including myself please help us thank you very much now before you go i want you to do two things firstly i want you to subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed if you're subscribed already then please do well to like the video and drop a comment it will be really nice and it will go a long way to encouraging me to make more videos like this now the second thing i want you to do is to subscribe to my weekly newsletter so every week i send out newsletters with opportunities in tech and web3 in general so from hackathons to job opportunities to bounties contests to web3 events and so much more um, so if you want to get these emails every week please do well to subscribe i'm sure you'll find an opportunity that might just change your life so please do well to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye